welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, do not forget to press the subscribe button and the bell icon. And I assure you, you will not be disappointed. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I know I've been missing for quite some time and the season is changing, virus is in the air. We need to take care of our health. So please do take care of your health and that now I'm back, I will try and be as frequent as I can. Um, though I had mentioned that I would be speaking about the right laundry, but uh, maybe that will be the next post which will come. But today I decided that I will talk of something which is again very important and we miss out on. So many pageants are happening, right? So Miss, Mr, Mrs pageants are happening. There, Some of them are just around the corner. And when you land up at the venue, when you are there uh, for your finale, all of a sudden you realize, oh, I forgot this at home and I forgot that at home. And then you keep asking for people. Many a times you're not allowed to step out of the hotel and you really don't know from where to procure those items which you missed out on. So today I'm going to talk to you about the checklist. So before you leave your home for your pageant, this is the checklist. You must check out that these items should be there with you so that you are independent and you don't have to ask anyone for the help. So basically, I would say there are six kits you must have. The first one is the emergency kit. Now, anything can happen. You may fall sick, you may fall. Um, anything can happen to anyone at any moment. So you must have an emergency kit with you. And what should the emergency kit have? So the emergency kit should have all the medicines. Um, you can say simple medicines for headache, body pain, loose motion, nausea, uh, or anything which you are actually taking, whatever medicines you are taking, uh, because of whatever reason, they should be with you. Don't miss out on your medicine in these days. You need band-aid, you need anti-acids, you need bandages of different sizes, you need an antiseptic solution, some cotton balls in case you get hurt, antiseptic cream, analgesic uh, rub in case move or something, if you sprain your foot, stretch bandage in case you have a sprain or swelling, disinfectants, throat spray, or maybe uh, the throat lozenges, which, which will keep your throat in good shape in case you are going in or you're going to sing for your talent round. That will soothe your throat. Mouthwash. And most important for girls, don't forget your sanitary napkins. Stress can do a lot of stuff to our body and maybe um, your cycle is not due, but it can happen and you don't have to ask anyone for help. So keep all these things in your medical kit. The second is the sewing kit. You need a sewing kit because you may tear a dress or may it become loose, it may become tight, may buttons will come off, anything can happen. So uh, to avoid any kind of uh, uh, wardrobe malfunction, you would need needles of different sizes, you need a small kit with uh, threads of all colors, small scissors, extra buttons, hooks, beads, rhinestones, which match your dress, safety pins of various sizes. The third is the clothing checklist. The arrival outfits, shoes and accessories to go with it, formal outfit, shoes for the sport shoes, the party shoes, the bathroom chapels, interview dress, rehearsal dress, the dresses which you will wear in the classroom, uh, the dresses which you'll be using for the sports field, yoga, swimwear, a lot of casual wear for every day, few party dresses, and not to mention again and again that of course you would need accessories to go with every dress. And in case you are packing your swimwear, don't forget to pack in your um, uh, wrapper on, on top of your swimwear. You need a house coat, nightwear, stockings, inner wear, in case it's cold, a sweater, a hoodie, a coat, a trench coat, purses, um, an evening bag, a tote bag, and purses which you'll carry for various occasions. And also you would need a laundry bag where you can store your laundry. The fourth checklist or the fourth thing is your makeup checklist. So your eye make your base, your eye makeup, your lipsticks, your rouge, your highlighters, makeup removers, 
facial cleansers, night creams, moisturizer, all that in your makeup list along with the brushes. Don't forget you may carry stuff and forget the brushes, the brushes, the sponge, everything you need for your makeup. And for your pageant, for your talent, you need your CD or you need a pen drive with the music, uh, your identity card, your passport in case it's international, few photographs, pen, spectacles, your mobile and its charger, your laptop and the charger, few gifts to give to people, family pictures, your God's picture, sunglasses, hat, cap. Uh, another very important item is not to forget to carry your money. You might need some cash, then you need your credit cards. It's always good to ask the hotel where you stay for the locker so that you can keep your money safely. I will always advise the girls not to carry uh, real jewelry with them because sometimes you're not aware, you just leave your room and it might disappear. So be very careful, don't carry anything which is very, very expensive and your money, your credit cards, your passport, whatever it is, just ask for a locker and keep your stuff inside that. Not only that, you also must have a lock and a key on your bags, you know, because a competition is a competition. Anything can happen. So keep your bags locked uh, so that nothing is missing and nothing is tampered with. You also need a kit, which is an accessory kit. So in your accessory kit, you have your earrings, you have your uh, necklaces, you have your bangles and bracelets, you have your uh, cocktail rings, you have the belts, you may be carrying uh, all kinds of accessories, maybe the collar cuffs or whatsoever, whatever needed, maybe for your talent round, for your evening gowns. So there should be a separate bag for accessories. And now that you have done all the checklists and you now look at the itinerary which has been given to you by the organizer. So day by day, okay, day one, so, 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 so is thing going to happen. So now look for the dress for that particular day, okay? And then starting from accessories to your dress, to your shoes of that particular event, pack it in a see-through bag and put a label on top of that so that you know this is day one, one, two, three, four, day two, one, two, three, four. So everything is properly packed and everything is in place. So you don't have to run around for stuff. So the more organized you are, the less of stress you will have. So as I said, a lot of clothes are required starting from morning sportswear till night wear. And then as per the itinerary, how many gowns, how many cocktail dresses, if you're going sightseeing, what are the dresses you will wear when you're going for your sessions and grooming classes, what you will wear, some heels, some plaids. So according to itinerary, prepare your, your package and then put them in the bag. And please don't forget to lock your bag. And last but not the least, some of the important things you must have. You must have a water bottle. You must have few snacks, dry snacks, whatever you eat, maybe some dry fruit some hangers, baby wipes, tissue, super glue, double-sided tape so that you can, you know, stick your straps and stuff. You also need a body wash, you need your soap, you don't forget your toothpaste, your ha hairbrush, your shampoo, your conditioner, your comb. And in case you have to do your own hair, then you need your hair press, you need your hair um, colors, Velcro colors. And very important also to keep a small travel iron or a travel steamer uh, iron. Uh, get a, a, a multi-plug in case uh, you have an equipment which is not fitting into their regular switches. So a multi-switch uh, which can be used. Nail polish remover, nail polish, a filer, your deodorant, antiperspirant, perfume. These items may appear to be very small, but these are the most important items and many a times you run around for these items and you don't get it so don't forget to carry all these things these are the checklist so if you're going for any kind of a pageant do run through this checklist that you have these six seven kits with you and everything should be in a transparent bag with a label on top the sewing kit the medical kit 
so that you don't have to rush and hunt for stuff out there and everything is in a proper place. So um, yeah, so prepare that. And I hope that when you go for your next pageant, you don't feel helpless thinking that there is certain things you don't have and how do I procure them? Because you'll be well organized. And if you're well organized, you will have less of stress and you will be able to perform better. So all the very best to you till I meet again with another topic. Take care and stay safe. Thank you.